Hello everyone, welcome to this new YouTube video on 5 reasons to start watercolor. So let's dive right into it. So the first reason is that watercolor are an easily accessible and easy to use media. So you can find watercolor supplies in your local art shop and the best thing is that you can get good quality supplies with a small budget. So I personally started with the first brands available in terms of paper and brushes. I literally took the first uh, brand that I saw, not knowing if one was better than the other and I really didn't care, I just wanted to start. <laughs> um, and I used my supplies for like 10 years, so the brushes lasted 10 years, I still have them. They're still in good shape and everything, but I just switched to better quality brushes because it was a personal choice. And about the paper, I also switched to better quality just out of curiosity because the paper had a good um, reputation I wanted to test it. So you can start with basic supplies and upgrade as you go. And you have to know that you can start with just any brand you like because they basically offer the same thing. And as you're starting out, it's just, it's just fine. And I want to make another video where I will talk about which and how to choose the right supplies for you as a beginner. Now, the second reason is effects. You have to know that watercolor offers a vast range of effects you can add to your paintings effortlessly. And I mean effortlessly. You just put the first layer of pigment on the paper and as it's still wet, you just have to sprinkle clear water on it or you can use kitchen salt or plastic film, a sponge, wet or dry and so on to add nice um, random effects of water on your colors and this adds a lot in terms of texture, expressivity to your work and the quality will be much much uh, better and it will be directly uh, visible, trust me. Now the third reason, it is a quick media and by this I mean that even though watercolor is a wet painting technique, the drying time is short. It will literally take a few seconds to a few minutes to dry, depending of course on how much water you put on the paper, but finishing a piece is quite quick. Now some ti a tip that is often uh, given by other artists is the blow dryer method to speed up the drying time. But personally I do not use it because uh, when an area takes time to dry, actually I work on another area of the drawing. So I do not lose time waiting and doing nothing. Meanwhile, I just keep working on another part of the drawing. But of course, if you feel like you need to blow dry your painting, you're welcome to do it. You do what you want, after all, right? So, the fourth um, reason is that watercolor is a buildable uh, media. So, as watercolor is transparent paint, you can layer as much as you want. So, this is especially interesting to build your artwork, and by this I mean you can uh, refine your colors, your values as you paint, which is great to produce high quality work, which is what you definitely want. And finally, the last tip is mixed media. You can complement your paintings with another medium like pencils or gouache or acrylics or whatever you want, actually. So maybe you're going to tell me that it's not watercolor all that I have cited. Yes, that's true, but you have to understand that even if you use a given media, like watercolor, you can still uh, enhance it, complement it with other media that you like and that can add to the quality of your piece. And for example, pencils, colored pencils, is a great addition to the paintings because it's a very precise tool, you can sharpen it and create small details that you would struggle a bit more using watercolors. Moreover, it allows you to add more hues to your skin tones, clothes, fur or feathers without having to build endless layers. So you got it, it fastens your process and it gives better results, it's easier and it's quicker. So don't you want to try this? Of course you do. 
So here we are at the end of our five reasons to start using watercolors. I hope you enjoyed listening to these tips and I hope you are now thinking about starting watercolors and that you also enjoyed the speed paint that plays in the background. So it's a portrait inspired by beer beer culture. Uh, actually my great grandmother was a beer beer so it is some kind of tribute to her, but I digress. By the way, I will have prints of this portrait over on my store envy shop. Uh, the link is in the description box below, so go over there, click and visit in the shop if you like. So if you liked the video, consider giving it a like, uh, subscribing to my channels to see other uh, videos on watercolors because I want to make an, a series about um, this media and to see, of course, all the, um, the speed paints that I produce in a watercolor. So thank you for listening and until the next video, be inspired, paint and have fun creating. Bye bye!